Hi, this is Roger Eastlick once again, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to make the cursor editable in Camtasia Studio 8. What I mean by that is that uh, normally um, you might want to have different effects for the cursor. For example, you might want to make it highlighted yellow so that people can see kind of what's where your cursor is. Um, another thing that you might want to do is to show when you click right, right or left click. A lot of times I like to do that. In this video I'm actually not going to do that. Um, but I often do it in Camtasia Studio 8. So in order to do that there's two things you basically need to do. You need to first of all make sure that it's set up right. So what you're going to do is when you open up the uh, Camtasia Studio recorder bar, or recorder, it looks like this, right? Then what you want to do is make sure that you click on effects and then click on options and click on cursor. And I think by default it's already checked, but make sure if it isn't, make sure that the uh, check mark is right, is, is present next to make cursor edit effects editable in Camtasia Studio. If you uncheck that, then you can hard burn um, whatever effects you want in here for the cursor right into the video. But a lot of times it's nice to keep those camera. Uh, recordings around, you might want to change something a little bit, you may decide that you don't want the cursor after all for whatever reason, so it's nice to make them editable. So just make sure that you, the uh, uh, the uh, make cursor effects editable in Camtasia Studio is checked here. Um, if it's not, that'd be at the bottom, I can't really show you this, but there'd be a place to save it. Um, otherwise you're good to go. The other thing we need to make sure that you do is when you are actually producing or editing the uh, your your recorded video in Camtasia Studio that you uh, first of all well actually let me see let me try this uh, if I click on the more tab and then on cursor effects this also often happens I do this kind of on purpose so you see it says select a, cam a camera recording on the timeline to enable cursor effects. What they're talking about is you need to select the, the video track which is this one right here. I think it's usually track 2. If you select that now you've got the ability to actually edit the cursor effects. And I guess what I do most of the time make sure that this is checked and then under highlight effect for example pimple, you can click on highlight and then left click effect you can click on rings right click you can do whatever you want to warble or whatever I usually leave that actually blank but you can select that and once you do that then you are you're good to go actually at that point then you can go ahead and produce your video and it will show the cursor effects this is Roger Eastlick and this has been how to make the cursor editable in Camtasia Studio 8 I hope you enjoyed and and uh, found this video to be helpful. Have a great day.